Okay, so we're back with this video and this one and I th this is I love doing these videos. This one, well, for a guy who said who'd, he'd never do videos, who hates videos, I seem to be doing uh, a hell of a lot of them these days. But anyway, first of all, this one is about <laughs> how not just to not fear negative reviews for whatever it is you're doing, your books, your products, your business, your life, whatever it is, but to actually want them and welcome them now i know that goes um that that's contrary to what most people advise that's contrary to you know what most of the self-help affirmation gurus advise and all that and that's fine but <laughs> oh man some of these trolls they really make they i really i love these trolls they they make for great fodder uh Anyway, it's been a great workout today. I went running like I didn't really want to do my 100 squats and my well, I did 50 then I did 100 push-ups and then another 50 squats But then I went running and I just ran for like I think I must have run for a couple of kilometers at least three kilometers And man, I'm tired right now. I don't know if you can see it on my face I actually feel very energetic, but I'm also feeling tired. I don't know if that makes much sense I still got my club work left to do, so it's me and my trusty, hey, wait a minute, my trusty club. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to put it there. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, anyway, look, uh, as we promote more and more, as we get more and more popular, as people, you know, uh, get to know us, get to get to know of our products and services more and more, Naturally, you're gonna have people that'll complain. You're gonna have cheap asses that'll want everything for free. You're gonna have trolls. You're gonna have all that. I mean, Glenn Schofield is one perfect example of a bona fide troll. And what I did to him, the way I handled him, well, it's all very public knowledge. Uh, he <laughs> basically doesn't dare to say anything anymore. Anyway, uh, so. Uh, yeah, anytime, I mean, as of late, I've been getting hit with another, another spate of these idiotic comments about, oh, he charges so much for his products, oh, it's so expensive, oh, I don't want to pay this amount, I, I can find it for free on the internet. All right, well, she was Pelly, I mean, you can find it for free on the internet, then go find it, you know. I should just tell these people that, but I don't tell them because if I just told them that, it wouldn't. It's no fun. Number number one and number two, it means I'm missing out on a golden opportunity to be trolled and make more sales. Now this may sound very strange, but when we had that whole saga with Glenn, I mean, again, yeah, that's been going on for donkey's years. I mean, I think it, it all started with something on Facebook when I posted something on Facebook about. Uh, you know, the Chinese, no goose and gander. I mean, they expect you to learn their language in their country, which is fine, fair enough, and do business in their language and whatnot. That's fair enough, too. But when they come to America, they expect Americans to do business the way they do. They expect people in other countries to speak Chinese the way they do. Now, that's bullshit. You, you can't go to another country and, you know, you can't just impose your own will upon another country. Um... Mosquito bites, yeah. Um, and then I called him out, and I did some advertising for Gorilla Grip, and sure enough, one of Glenn's posse showed up, and he was like, oh, I wank on the bus. He literally said that. I wank on the bus, and that's how I developed my Gorilla Grip. And, you know, a lot of these losers in China, they showed up. Oh, how dare he say this and that. There was one guy who was sort of sensible, and he's like, so y'all are calling him racist for not wanting to learn Chinese, but you're telling him that you won't learn English and that's not racist and that was a smart comment. <laughs> but anyway, with, with all that that was going on, my phone was ringing off the hook, like, or I should say vibrating off the hook, then I set vibrations. Um, I set it to no vibration because every second somebody was posting something on Facebook about it and this happened last year, and the sale register just went up, 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 up. 
every time that happens, um, it, it like clockwork. Um, and let's get to the main point. Why should you actually welcome being trolled? Well, we've covered that, but why should you actually welcome negative reviews and such for your, for your product, your business? Well, I'm not going to give it all away for free here. A lot of my, a lot of the cheapskates and a lot of these wankers that post these reviews, you know, there's this fat boy who applied for a job with us as an affiliate. Now, this guy doesn't know how to sell anything. He can't even sell an $8 ebook and he sells these dodgy supplements, which, dude, really, you should, you're playing with people's lives, you know, somebody stupid enough to trust you and buy that. Or every fitness influencer, or I hate to, I hate to use the term hate to use the term influencer because it's all bullshit here today, gone tomorrow. But every you know serious business person, fitness business, or whichever business he's trying to, he, he's he's trying to associate himself with, they basically all fire his ass because number one, he doesn't know how to sell. Number two, he's a flake. And number three, most importantly, I mean, man, Jesus Christ, this guy is obese. And he claims to be uh, promoting fitness and that. So nobody wants, especially no fitness guy, wants him to be associated with his business. Now, he applied for us six months before I approved his application. Why? Because, well, I have a spam system in place which put his application in spam. And those systems work pretty well. So I should have just left him where he belonged, right at the bottom of the box. Why? That's spam. But then, you know, I thought sometimes I'm too harsh on people. Maybe he's a good guy. Maybe we'll try and help him, give him a chance. And so I did. Uh, sure enough, the first thing he started to wank about was, uh, Hey, Raul, can I have some free copies of your books? So I want to, uh, because he wanted to review them or some bullshit. I'm like, dude, some rules can't be broken for nobody. I don't need no reviews from you. I mean, if somebody buys the product, then I want that person to review. Yeah, because they've spent good solid money on it. Now that's opinion I'll respect, but some idiot that just wants it for free just to say, oh, I gave you this meaningless review, which is great, blah, 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 I don't really want that. I mean, I can do without that bullshit now. And then I tried to help him out because, you know, he seemed sort of genuine and he seemed sort of, you know, like a little kid learning his trade. And I'm like, okay, well, big brother will teach you. Uh, so I helped him out. I mentioned him on the site and he was thrilled. He's like, nobody ever did that for me, which I don't blame them, dude. Why would somebody mention, why would somebody want to be associated with a loser like you? But anyway, um, then I put his picture on one of my sales pages and sure enough, I mean, you know, because he was trying to sell that product, I figured I'd try and help him. You know, you try and be nice to some people, but anyway, that went nowhere. And then a month later, he predictably started whining about, Oh, it's so expensive, I can't sell. And, uh, you know, the guy is a complete loser. I mean, and in this one month, I did some research on him. Total trailer park crash, lives on his wife. He does nothing but sit at home all day, and he does these two-minute TikTok workouts. And he, believe it or not, after that two minute burst, which he calls to be an extensive workout, and it shows with the amount of fat he's got on his body, he goes back to sleep. Then he wakes up, he does it again, he does some, you know, TikTok bullshit, and... Now all of this is fine. If somebody wants to live life like a house husband, like a cuckolded, a cuckolded house, house husband, perfectly fine. Hey, no argument from me, but... But it's... And and obviously he had this hero worship thing going on. I mean, after that incident with him happened, of uh, when I basically told him to get lost and that you know if he didn't want to, if he if he couldn't sell, then to stop wasting my time. I blocked him off of my Twitter, my list. Guy is obsessed. No matter what I do, no matter how much I block him, he shows up again. I just like Glenn. I, and it's it's funny, it's actually a measure of your success, of your star rising, that that many people are obsessed with what you do, that many people want to know what you do, that many people, you know, after being blocked, they still find a way to show back up and troll you. Because, really speaking, these guys are losers with no life, but they hate themselves. Uh, they look in the mirror, they know they have no money, they know they have no life, no business, no potential, nothing, and they hate themselves. 
Anyway, uh, all of that is fine. But then he started on about, you know, uh, oh, his products are so expensive, they're terrible, and they're so expensive, blah, 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 blah. So I figured I'd make this video. The first thing you know, dude, if you haven't read a book, you can't review it. It's that simple. I mean, it's it's basic logic, basic schoolboy logic, right? Not that these this sort understands any logic. Um, but I, second thing, it's actually good people do that to you. Now, I'm not going to give away all my secrets here because, and curiously enough, the sort, they want you to get on YouTube and, and you know, they want everything for free. Oh, let's see what this guy's got. But they're never going to buy anything from you after you give them the deal, the scoop. They'll say, oh yeah, they'll be satisfied, but and they'll thank you up and down and say you're a great guy, a great person, but they won't give you any money. And um, so anyway, let me let me give you two very one fact was anytime you're trolled like that, it's not only a measure of your success or your star rising or whatever, but you'll make more sales if you know how to handle this correctly. It happens like clockwork every time you'll make a lot uh, a hell of a lot more sales Dan Kennedy I don't know if you know who Dan Kennedy is you guys listening to this now Dan Kennedy is one of the godfathers of internet marketing and marketing in general before they even had the internet uh, if you don't know who Kennedy is then marketing wise you're living under a rock quite literally anyway he had this thing in a book of his that and it's basically the same thing someone like Jeff Bezos, someone like even me, like I say, if you're doing something different. I mean, Bezos, have, I mean, uh, Jeff had this thing about, uh, you know, be prepared to be misunderstood for long periods of time. Now, he didn't mean misunderstood. What he really meant to say was a lot of idiots will troll you. Because these people are too stupid to understand what you're doing, to see the potential in it. And that's perfectly fine. That, that's, how, that's how the cookie crumbles. Um, but Kennedy, he said every time you you get that sort of a negative review about price or, you know, some bullshit like that, you need to raise your arms up in the air and go, hurrah, yeah, like that. Now, this only works if you really feel it from the inside. If you really feel happy that you get these negative reviews, which sometimes, honestly, I feel thrilled. I feel elated. Funny, it may sound funny, but... Sometimes I'll actually welcome the negative reviews more than the positive and don't get me wrong I love the positive reviews, but it's the negative ones that really which have no fact no basis No logic behind them that I really really welcome Because you can use those to make a hell of a lot more money Believe me Trust me profit troll the upcoming book will have a hell of a lot more on this It'll have people like Glenn It'll have people like, oh, this fat boy I'm talking about, Benny Boy. It'll have Benny Boy in it. I mean, he's not going to be mentioned by name. Uh, but uh, Kennedy was spot on. And that, my friend, is exactly why you... The results, why you should welcome being attacked. Because if you know how to do it, you can really turn those attacks around and... And especially if you know if you know the other person and literally how illogical and weak they are, you can literally hit home on their weak points. Well, you just have to know how to do it well. You have to do it in a way that's marketable, and you're off to the races. So that's a brief tutorial on that. And I'm going to end this now because we already got interrupted once. Here's my trusty club. I'm going to go for my club workout now, but remember, if you're trying to do something, if your product is good, if you believe in it, then that's all that really matters. It doesn't matter how many people troll you. In fact, it doesn't matter how many people say you're an idiot. You should welcome it. And it's not enough just to welcome it. You need to know how to handle it. And the how to handle it will be in that book, how to handle it and how to profit from it. Like I have real life examples, proof, Figures, all of it. It'll be, it'll all be there in that book. So you'll want to place, you'll want to place the pre-order for that right now, because the price is gonna go up. Um, and that's that. That's the video I wanted to do first before I did the one on push-ups and uh, and that. All right, guys. So I'll see y'all later. And um, yeah, shoot me an email if you have more questions on this. I'm not gonna give it all away for free here, but. 
yeah, shoot me an email if you got questions and we'll go from there. All right, later guys, but remember, welcome these trolls. These trolls are the best things for your business, your life. If you really want to succeed, welcome this sort of thing or you're never going to succeed. Trust me, I've never met somebody that succeeded at any sort of level who's not, whose success isn't directly proportional to the number of haters he has. Believe me. Uh, genuine haters, not just, you know, the guy that played like Benny Boy and, you know, people call him out. That's different, but. All right, more on this later. For now, I'll see y'all later.